Hey, welcome to Weed and Barley. This is a place where you get the ingredients to get to know God. I am Maxine. Welcome to this platform. If you are new to the channel, welcome, praise God. If you are returning, welcome back. Hallelujah. This is a place where we are consecrating unto the Lord. We are doing what God is calling us to do, and we are obedient best souls in this process, praise God. And I just want to honor the Lord today. Hallelujah. This is day 13. Let's just honor Jesus Christ because that's the title of this message. Hallelujah. Honoring Jesus. Hallelujah. We're going to dive right into scripture, praise God. But make sure, hallelujah, when you woke up this morning that you thank the Lord for waking up, that you thank him, hallelujah, for every single thing that he has set out on your path, because everything's intentional, y'all, praise him. As I am consecrated to the Lord, I am paying attention to the details all around me. The Lord is speaking through all things, praise God. I can even have a thought, y'all, hallelujah, and all of a sudden, I will see the answer, praise God. It will just arrive. It will arrive through various things. I'm telling you, praise God, I was eating, hallelujah, and all of a sudden, a napkin blew, praise God, to my hand. Hallelujah. I'm telling you right now, God is so intentional. Hallelujah. And he is so good to us. Praise God. And did I need that napkin at the time? Yes, I did. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm just so grateful to be in the presence of the Lord. Just knowing that he has pure, beautiful, wonderful, magnificent intentions for us. He's so concerned about us, y'all. He want us to win, praise God. We have the cloud of witnesses cheering us on from the heavenly realm. They want us to win. They want us to win this race, y'all, praise God. And I just pray for those of you who are consecrated, truly taking this seriously to yield unto the Lord, to give yourself fully over to the Holy Spirit so the Holy Spirit can steer you in the direction in which you must go, praise God. And remember, the Holy Spirit is a witness of Jesus Christ, so the Holy Spirit will continue to witness Jesus Christ through you, praise God. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, you should rejoice today knowing that you are saved by the blood. You are saved because Jesus Christ died for you and you have access to kingdom riches, praise God. You have access to kingdom resources, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And guess what? You have access to kingdom help. Hallelujah. And I'm talking about the angels who are ready to move forward in a mission that God has assigned to you. It's so beautiful, y'all. Let's go ahead and go to Luke chapter 19. I'm going to start with verse 32. And it reads, so those who were sent went away and found it just as he told them. So remember, Jesus sent his disciples forth to go get a coat, praise God. And depending on which um, book you're reading, if you're reading Matthew and, and the description of this triumphant entry of Jesus Christ, praise God, as the Messiah, then you may read about, um, you know, the disciples going to get a donkey in a coat, praise God. And then in this book of Luke, it is just the coat. And then Mark is just the coat, praise God. Hallelujah. And um, I just wanted to point that out because because you need to understand that he points out that this cult had never been written. So we already know, praise God, which one he was on. He, this one had never been written, praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And a cult is, is basically a male donkey that is um, four years old or younger. Okay. And so with that being said, we're going to go ahead and move on in scripture right there. Praise God. So verse 33 as they were untying the colt in all, as they were untying the colt, its owner said to them, why are you untying the colt? Verse 34, they said, the Lord has need of it. And 35, they brought it to Jesus and they threw their coats on the colt and put Jesus on it. The last verse is 36. As he was going, they were spreading their coats on the road. This is honoring Jesus. This is honoring the Messiah. This is honoring our Lord and Savior, praise God, bringing him in as king, hallelujah, riding a colt, y'all. He could have been on a horse, hallelujah, understand, praise God, but the Lord did this purposefully because Jesus Christ came as our servant. He was serving us even in this, praise God, because he was going to be served on the cross for us, hallelujah paying for our sins. That's servitude. Hallelujah. Coming to serve as a man in flesh to die for our sins. Praise God. That is the greatest service that anyone could ever do for us. Praise God. And he did that. Hallelujah. No man could do what Jesus did. Praise God. He did that. Hallelujah. And he was excellent in it. 
Praise God. So we give him honor. Hallelujah. Not just today, every day. Praise God. But we're recognizing him as the Messiah. We're recognizing him as our king. Hallelujah. So we want to give him reverence and we want to have a posture of honor. See, there's a difference between just saying you honor somebody, but then actually having a posture of honor because your posture is going to say it all. Praise God. You don't have to say hallelujah out your mouth that you honor. Your posture will honor what you normally do. Your regular uh, uh, um, um, actions, right? Praise God. Hallelujah. Will, will be the posture of honoring Jesus. Hallelujah. And pay attention to that. Assess yourself. How do you honor Jesus every day? Hallelujah. Can you do better in some areas? Praise God. I'm telling you, I can do better every single day. Hallelujah. Because he is majesty. He is king of kings. No one's perfect. Praise God. None of us. Hallelujah. But we can strive to be closer to the Lord. We can strive to read and understand this Bible. We can strive to get to know Jesus. What does he like? What doesn't he like? Praise God. Let's do this intentionally with focus, praise God, and let's move in the order of God, the things that he gives us, praise God, in the order that he gives them to us in obedience. That's the key, y'all. Hallelujah. Not just submitting, yielding to him, but being obedient. So let's look at the disciples. They were yielding to Jesus. They went ahead and they went to get that coat, praise God, because Jesus said, hey, go ahead. Hallelujah. And he told them what they will find there, praise God. And he even told them what to say when they were asked, praise God. What are they doing? And they knew exactly what to say. Do you understand? Hallelujah. And it was just so beautiful um, in this, praise God, because it lets you know that the Lord takes care of all the details. Did you get that? The Lord takes care of all the details. He wants to take care of all the details. If you don't know all the details as to what you're doing, praise God, just know he has them and that's who we seek. That's who we seek after, praise God, to find out what it is that he is telling us. Hallelujah. See, Jesus Christ is true. He is wonderful, praise God. He is our counsel. He is majesty, hallelujah. He's holy. He's sovereign, praise God. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, he is so great. Hallelujah. I pray that you believe that. He is beautiful, y'all. He is absolutely beautiful. Praise God. And we want to give him honor. So we bless him today. We bless him. We give him all the blessings. Hallelujah. We let Jesus Christ know today that we love him so much. Hallelujah. For saving our souls, for saving our family souls, for saving, saving our, our unions, for saving our children. Hallelujah. For saving us, praise God. For saving uh, every single thing that we have in our hands, our belongings, our territories, our properties, always protecting us y'all we have to give him honor why because he deserves it hallelujah but most importantly because he is king praise god and the honor is his it's just this the honor is his it belongs to him the praise that that's in our belly belongs to him praise god hallelujah so when we start to understand that we are not of our own but whatever we do we are glorifying jesus christ then we're good Hallelujah. We're good. You understand? Praise God. I didn't say perfect, but we're good. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, we just want to thank the Lord for this word because the word today is titled honoring Jesus. Hallelujah. And I pray that today that you move through this fast, that you are uh, eating healthy, praise God, but also that you're focusing on this scripture, you're meditating on it, and you have prayer points, praise God. And I did share um, some prayer times for those of you who want to consecrate and you're not really sure how to do that, you know, specifically. In the community section of uh, Wheat and Barley, I did share uh, some prayer times, but here I'll go ahead and share them again. Uh, you want to make sure that you have prayer in or declarations, you can speak in tongues as well, uh, at 9 a.m., you want to come back at 12, 8, 12 p.m., 3 p.m., and then 6 p.m. These are just some prayer point times where if you need to schedule it or put your uh, clock on a timer, your uh, phone on a timer, whatever, your watch, if you need to do that, that will help you to be more organized and consecration and also be more intentional. You can set your time limit to be 10 minutes each time, praise God. You can pray for the full hour if you have the time, hallelujah, to do that. But just make sure it's consistent throughout the hour. So whatever you do for the nine o'clock hour, go ahead and do that for 12, three, and six, okay? Just in consistency because we want to be consistent with the Lord, praise God. And we want to be intentional just like he's intentional with us, right? 
Okay. All right, y'all. I love you with the love of Christ. Peace and blessings until 6 p.m., y'all. Hallelujah. Where we come back for communion. I'm telling you, we were moving right along. This is day 13. Be blessed in all your ways, knowing that the Lord loves you. Hallelujah. And I'm sending blessings your way. Hallelujah, because God is good. Thank you, Lord God, for this word. Thank you, Lord God, for your goodness. Thank you, Lord God, hallelujah, for lifting us up. Thank you, Lord God, for stretching us in areas where we need stretching, oh Lord God, saturating all the dry places in us, oh Father God, hallelujah, uprooting things that don't belong. Thank you, oh Lord God, for you are a good God and worthy to be praised. We honor you today, Jesus. We honor you every day, Jesus, hallelujah. We lay down our life for you, Jesus, hallelujah. We just give it all back to you, Lord. We give it all back to you, hallelujah. This life is not our own, praise God, hallelujah. So whatever you want to do with our lives, whatever you want to tell us to do with our lives, Lord God, hallelujah, have your way. Wherever you want us to go, we'll go. Whatever you want us to say, we'll say. Whomever you want us to pray for, we'll pray for, hallelujah. Then we belong to you, Lord God. You came back and you served us in, in excellency. You died for our sins. You didn't even have to do that. You did, hallelujah. You served us on the cross, praise God. The, the, the greatest thing we could ever do, praise God, hallelujah, for ourselves is to give ourselves back to you allowing you to navigate us the way that we need to be navigated in this realm, praise God, because we don't know everything that is in this realm. We don't know everything that's in the spiritual realm, Lord God. We are learning, 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 and we're just so grateful that you are holding us by the hand. You're the lamp to our feet, the light to our path, giving us directions and instructions every way we go, and we thank you, hallelujah, that you are always with us forever with us, always with us, oh Lord God. We love you and we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. May our ways be blessed today, oh Lord God. Cover us, keep us, oh Lord God. Protect us, our coming in and going out, oh Father God. Hallelujah. And give us what we need, any resources, any tools, oh Lord God. Give us what we need today so that we can accomplish the task that you're giving us in excellency, Lord God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And oh Lord God, we're praying for every single person who needs strength today, oh Lord God. So strengthen them, oh Father God. Send an angel to strengthen them today in Jesus' mighty name. Give them what they need, oh Father God. Refresh them. Hallelujah. Give them a boost, oh Lord God, in your spirit in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. All right, y'all. Be blessed in all your ways. Love you with the love of Christ. See you at 6 p.m.